Now, the answer to the problems of crime and vandalism may be staring us in the face or at least sitting in our garden sheds. A project in Suffolk which uses volunteers to tidy up neglected areas of wasteland has been so successful that crime has dropped by more than 90% on one estate. Breakfast Colette at Beth is in Kessingland near Lowestoft to tell us more. Morning, you busy? Morning. Well, I'm not, but Paul and Sue here are. They very kindly agreed to give up their bank holiday to uh, tidy up the grounds of the church here. And they're part of a band of about 35 volunteers who've been doing just that in hundreds and hundreds of gardens in deprived pockets of this area for um, the last year. Now, there's nothing particularly special about that, but what they've noticed here is that by cutting the grass and tidying things up, they've also helped cut crime quite dramatically. This looks like one of those ideas that started off very small, but could have a very big impact. Mango started off as a pilot for a neighbourhood watch scheme. He used the idea of horticulture tackling social problems in the road. We go into people's gardens and we provide mowing, hedge cutting, weeding, everything you can imagine that you need to do in a garden. Um, but also we do it at a rock bottom cost or actually free. We can work it out. We can work it out. Many communities across Suffolk and the rest of the UK have discovered they've got areas where there's fly tipping, needles, syringes and all sorts of paraphernalia. We've cleared it up with the help of the Provisional Service and we've maintained it ever since. Qualifications we get our volunteers are real qualifications that help them get real jobs for a real wage. Our very first two volunteers have just won £5,000 to start their own business through the lottery. It's changed a lot as well because we're starting up our own business. I think it's changed our lives, it's changed all the people, the gardens and that that we do, they're really keen. I didn't think I'd get into this sort of job, you know what I mean, and, and start up my own business like, almost straight away. This site was a real purpose for bringing the communities together and get everybody involved in looking after this area. The results have been fantastic. Crimes dropped by 93%, antisocial behaviour is a thing of the past, litter has disappeared really turn this neighbourhood around. Well it sounds almost too good to be true and I do want to pin you down Trevor on this dramatic uh, cut in crime. How on earth do you measure that? Well we, when we ran the pilot for Moe and Grow we had 14 crimes reported in the year before we started it. In one street that in is? In one street alone and then from that point on was two years later now there have only been two reported crimes and a complete drop in antisocial behaviour. And now, you attribute that to your scheme? Well, I can't prove that we're the only people responsible for it, but you can ask the residents yourself, and today they'll say it's all down to us. Okay, well, I will do. Thankfully, we have Alison uh, Little here. And Alison, yours is one of the gardens that was in that street that, that Trevor's talking about. I mean, well, was it so bad to begin with? It was absolutely terrible. I mean, the kids had got nothing to do, and they'd got no pride in their surroundings at all. And Trevor had come in and um, got them involved in planting trees and planting flowers in the green area near our homes and the crime has just been cut dramatically. So you don't think it's a coincidence, you would say it's Mo and Grow that's helped cut crime in your area? Certainly, you know, they've now got pride in where they live and it's absolutely fantastic, you know. Alison, thank you very much indeed. Well, the Millennium Commission um, that's helped Trevor fund this is so impressed with the results that they've seen that they want to roll this out across the country. So you could see something uh, like this very uh, close to you soon. Back to you. Hello, thank you very much for that. It's a lovely sound, isn't it? Motor it's a summer sound, isn't it?